All right, the Fed is in focus this week. Here now is Sam Stovall, Chief Investment Strategist at CFRA. All right, Sam, the Dow had its best week of the year last week, but investors don't seem to be worried about this week's Fed meeting, which will likely include an announcement on its balance sheet. And, and that's a big deal for the markets. Uh, absolutely. The, the market basically has been hearing for quite a long time from Fred Chair Yellen uh, about the rate tightening program, about how they're going to keep that on hold now for a little while because of inflation. But the real focus is on the unwinding of the balance sheet. Uh, but I think that there's going to be no surprise. We're basically going to be told uh, given a better clarity as to when, um, how long uh, it's going to happen, and uh, a reminder that the transparency is going to be there. And, and let's just remind everyone that this unwinding of the balance sheet is a multi-year process, so this is not something that's going to be, you know, that's going to happen overnight. Let me also ask you about the S&P 500, which crossed 2,500 on Friday. That was a big deal for the markets. When you were here about a month ago, you expected the S&P 500 to test 2,350 at some point. It hasn't happened yet, but are you sticking by that forecast for the remainder of 2017? Well, I guess uh, I would say not for the remainder of 2017. I don't think it's that great of a likelihood. Uh, what I have found is that whenever the S&P was up in both August and September, it continued to rise for the remainder of the year 13 of 16 times. And in those three times that it actually dipped, uh, the average was less than 1.3%. So basically, with us hitting all-time highs in the S&P right now, I think that we're getting a running start for the rest of the year. And we need to acknowledge the significance of where we are right now in the stock market, because September, as your research points out, is usually the worst year of the month for stocks. And here we are, week three in September, and we're at record highs. Oh, sure. And the reason that I publish this information is not to try to get ahead of the market and to say this is going to happen, but to remind investors that this frequently does happen. And if you're aware of it, you're not going to react adversely to it. You're not going to become your portfolio's worst enemy by selling out at the wrong time. Actually, just leave things along and the market will take care of itself. Now, anytime you have stocks hitting record highs, you have a lot of people come out and say, okay, this is it. Corrections coming. So when, when strategists tell me, hey, be overweight Europe stocks or emerging markets versus the U.S., I mean, what's your take on that kind of strategy? Oh, well, I think it's a good one. We've uh, had seven years in which the S&P outperformed the MSCI EFO, the Developed International yeah. Index. The other two years, it basically kept pace with it. So reversion to the mean mm. is the mantra now of global investors. But I think that that's actually a positive for domestic stocks as well, because we are seeing a broadening out of this marketplace. We're seeing... Um, what does that mean? Meaning that more and more assets are participating in this advance. Usually in a, uh, the, a topping out scenario, you have a narrowing of leadership. And as a result, fewer and fewer stocks are leading the way until when they fizzle out, then the market goes down. But right now, no, we're actually seeing greater interest around the globe. All right. And just quickly, let's get your year end target for the S&P 500. We're at 2,500 now. Where do we go by December 31st? Well, I think that we are pretty close to fair value right now. So I would tend to say that we're going to be remaining above 2,500, but our 12 month target is currently 2,560. Hmm. So based on earnings expectations and inflation, projections, uh, it is going to be a, I'm a bull with a lowercase b. Let's ah, put it that way. Good way of putting it. All right, Sam Stovall, thank you so much as always. My pleasure.